Sidbazil, Vice President of English Association of Atma Ram Sanatan Dharm College, I have the pleasure of hosting this orientation program conducted by Women's Development Cell, convened by our respected and adored Professor Shibani Ma'am. Also, I would request our principal to share a few words. Thank you. Good morning to all. Uh, Dr. Minu Anand, today's speaker, Sibani uh, Fukan, convener at WDC, Women Development Cell of the College, Dr. Sayyid Mubin Jehra, Dr. Preeti Jain, other colleagues, and my dear student. Uh, on behalf of uh, our college, WDC, first I would like to welcome uh, Madam Dr. Minu Anand in this webinar and in this orientation program. And I am glad that uh, she has given her valuable time to deliver a lecture on a very important topic, understanding gender, enabling diversity. So uh, it's a very good step taken by our WDC team, its leader, Ms. Sivani Fukan. She is always very active and interested to organize these kind of webinar, workshops, uh, programs for the benefit of student, and staff, and everyone. Uh, it, it, it not only helps us understanding, understanding women issues and uh, sensitize our student, but also create an atmosphere that how uh, in society we should live and how we should think and how we should respect each other in the society. So once again, uh, uh, I congratulate uh, Dr. Sibani Fukan and her team for organizing uh, this orientation program for the students. My best wishes to all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir, for all your support. And this is not a formality. I think each member of the committee, we have always sort of felt that whatever we organize, whenever we approach you with any sort of, you know, uh, idea, uh, you are always behind us 100 person. And that is what I think motivates us to sort, you know, to organize uh, as many talks, workshops, etc. possible. So thank you, sir, for coming. Thank here you. It is, it, is, it is my duty. Yeah, I'm not obliging anyone. It is my duty. I'm always but there. You make to it easier, you. sir. You, always, you make it easier and you make it pleasurable. Thank you, Thank Thank you, you. Sir, for Thank doing you. that. Thank you so much, sir. Yes, Chitpa. This intriguing session would highlight the aspect of gender enabling diversity through the spectrum of our speaker who has extensive professional experience and exposure in the area of gender of mental health. I would like to introduce our ingenious speaker, Dr. Meenu Anand from the Department of Social Work, University of Delhi, actively involved in working on issues related to gender, mental health and education for more than two decades. She has led several national and international projects focusing on developmental issues with various grassroots NGOs also conducts various capacity building and gender sensitizing workshops. She has been instrumental in development of curriculum at the postgraduate level on gender for women's studies and development center, and has a vast publication in form of books as well as research paper in national and international journals that seek to highlight issues related to gender, mental health, social work within interdisciplinary frameworks. Dr. Anand's passion revolves around working and researching on gender and mental health. Her latest book is Gender and Mental Health, Combining Theory and Practice. Now, I would request our speaker to share her few words of knowledge with us. Uh, Shudba, sorry to interrupt. Before I uh, invite Dr. Meenu Anand to uh, say a few words, there's just, can we take five, five minutes to just introduce our members and yes, I yes, a few words to the students because there are many people, you know, students who've just joined WDC just, just to welcome them and to, once we just finish the, pro, you know, the formality of that, I will hand it over to you. If that's all right with you, Dr. Anand. 
perfectly fine i would love to you know see the members as well and you know get to know even though virtually everybody yes thank you so much for that so a very good morning and a warm welcome uh, to all my colleagues to my to the esteemed speaker for today from the department of social work uh, university of delhi uh, all members of wdc colleagues and students thank you so much to principal sir for joining us i know he has a very very busy day as you know always uh, so i'm really thankful that he could take time out be there and as i said these are not just empty words he really really supports whatever we you know uh, endeavor we sort of you know, strive towards so thank you very much uh, sir uh, i'd like to extend a special warm and a hearty welcome to those who have recently joined the arsd family and wdc yesterday we celebrated the 73rd republic day of our nation a day which marks and celebrates the day the constitution of india came into effect the preamble of the constitution begins with the words be the people women constitute at least 50% of that uh, of those people the preamble also makes the solemn promise to secure justice liberty equality fraternity for the citizens of this country yet 70 odd years later here we are uh it isn't that women in our country haven't taken great strides towards attaining justice equality among other things women are marching into the corridors of power breaking the proverbial glass ceiling but even when they do so the struggles and challenges of a indra noi and a sundar pichai or a harman preet kaur and a virat kohli are not the same much has been achieved but much needs to change and change begins here with you and me in our homes in our educational institutions change begins with each one of us not laughing at a sexist joke not cracking one nor forwarding one here at wdc we organize talks on a wide range of issues invite women achievers from various fields uh, we organize workshops too on legally empowering women on standing up against sexual harassment on making ourselves safer in the digital space among other things most importantly we hope to work towards a safer and a more equitable world for everybody and for women in particular like i would never tire of saying gender issues are human issues so let's work at making our world better as gloria steinem says a gender equal society would be one where the word gender does not exist where everyone can be themselves let's work towards that with that i would like to introduce the members of the women development cell of arsd college without you know each one of whose support is extremely valuable to the working and functioning of the of wdc and to making each program a success each one of them contributes uh, in their unique special ways to make this a uh, success uh, dr said mobin zehra if you could just say a few words yeah thank you uh, shubani ma'am uh, i'm dr said mobin zehra i have been a member of wdc and uh, uh, i am in the department of history arsd college and uh, like uh, shubani has said we are trying to create that kind of platform and that kind of uh, awareness so thank you uh, dr minu anand to be here and uh, welcome all the new uh, students i'm sure you you you'll have quite helpful and quite uh, interesting workshops and lectures like shubani ma'am ma has said and it's always a pleasure uh the team is wonderful and uh, our principal sir who is always ready to support us so thank you to sir also and to our wonderful team welcome children welcome uh, to wbc thank you sir dr nidhi dureja if you could say a quick hello to the students if possible i i think she is yeah um good morning everybody uh since uh, i'm driving so i won't be able to uh, more uh, i'm nidhi dureja from uh, department of chemistry 
say uh, I would like to say only few things. कि जो नारी शक्ति है ना नारी शक्ति बहुत शक्तिशाली है एट टाइम्स एट मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स अगर लक्ष्मी माता है तो जब जरूरत पड़े तो उसे काली भी बन जाना चाहिए सो दिस इज वट दिस इज वट आई वुड लाइक टू से स्टूडेंट्स जब भी जरूरत हो उसी का फोन कर लीजिए दिस इज वट आई वॉन्ट टू से थैंक यू डॉक्टर शिवानी थैंक यू वेरी मच thank you which you just exemplify that women are wonderful multitaskers huh? uh, dr preeti jain if you could say a few words please uh, yes good morning everyone uh, welcome all welcome meenu ma'am thank you shivani i am dr preeti jain from the department of mathematics atma ram sanatan dharm college i am one of the members of women development cell this forum is meant for students of the college the aim of this organization is to create awareness about sexuality masculinity patriarchy gender and stereotypes associated with these issues seminars discussions debates and other activities are planned and conducted by the cell to have a balanced view about the various gender issues for the welfare of the women students of the college so please be a part of it and make it a success story thank you everyone welcome all thank you so much uh, i'm not too sure if uh, is dr manisha there i can't really see her is she there if anybody can tell me I think she is not there Okay, and I don't think we have. Uh, do we have anybody else from the top? No, I don't think. I because, don't think uh, because, anyone else is here. Yes, I think so. Uh, these are the members who are present right now. Some of them are actually unwell, huh, and therefore, uh, not. Oh, it's not. We all know what's going around, huh? So, therefore, so a couple of them are unwell, and therefore, they are not able to be here. uh with those introductions i think uh, a warm welcome to everybody present here a warm welcome to our speaker and we hand it over the virtual mic over to you thank you so much uh, am i am i audible yes you are you're audible i would also request students uh, to listen to her carefully and to type in their questions or any observations they have in the chat box once the talk is over we will take those up thank you very much uh thank you so much um a very very good morning to everybody and uh, at the outset i would like to thank uh, dr shibani fokan uh principal professor jha sir for giving me this opportunity to be a part of this wonderful talk being organized by arst college university of delhi and uh, it's a pleasure it's a pleasure to come to colleges you know uh, i go virtually and in the offline mode at various places but the best part which i really really enjoy is you know is coming to a college interacting with the students and i think uh, all the teachers all the faculty members are going to agree that that is where you know we belong that is what real really makes us very very happy so uh, i don't want to do a monologue with you students uh, what i really want to do is have a dialogue with everybody and uh, broadly speaking what i want to do i'm i'll share my uh, ppt and uh, if if uh, it is uh, visible then just uh, uh let me know i'll i'm trying to share the screen please tell me if it is visible yeah it is visible yeah so uh what i really want to do in the next 45 minutes to 1 hour is just discuss uh with everybody share with everybody what exactly is gender get to know your viewpoints my dear students as well talking about what are the kind of gendered roles that we see in and around us and how this gendered socialization actually takes place in overt as well as covert ways uh moving on to diversity and how do we actually build an inclusive environment at homes in the college in our classrooms and you know around us and that is what uh, my only request is that we all 
talk together we all interact together you can write in the chat box you people can speak you can unmute yourself and uh, you know let's participate together so uh, i would like to hear from students is it okay i don't think they will be able to unmute themselves because i think that option is not available but they can okay. definitely write in the chat box okay uh, where is the chat box then i must be able to see the chat box at the bottom of the screen you would see uh, next to participants you will see next to the uh, share screen uh, button you will see the chat box i think somebody has just written uh, you know something so that in case you can see that yes somebody has written yes right great okay so um so dear students hope you are all awake great aditya great nancy thank you okay now i am going to share few statistics with all of you now uh, i will just read out these stats and uh, you people can you know just tell me what do you think of it i believe just like the diversity in the teachers you also are from diverse uh, backgrounds different subjects is it we have teachers from history we have teachers from maths we have teachers from english great so uh, the do you understand what is child sex ratio dear students child sex ratio what is it ch child sex ratio bataiye kya hota hai child sex ratio uh, students you could write down in the chat box yeah aap likh sakte hain what is child sex ratio any idea number of girl child per 1000 boy is it that is sex ratio number of females per 1000 males so what is child sex ratio you are very close anybody what is child sex ratio it is 0 to 5 yes not 0 to 6 but it is 0 to 5 so number of females female children who are in the age group of you know up to 5 years per 1000 male children and the age group that we are looking at is up to 5 years right so if 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 we say that there are 1000 male children up to the age of you know 5 then tentatively speaking we we all can say there should be 1000 girls yes or no yes friends yeah but now if we now i was looking at the latest national family health survey of india and uh, it was the report was released just two months back and i was looking at the latest data yesterday the child sex ratio in india is 929 now we sitting in the capital of delhi you all are you know now students of the prestigious arst college whether in the online right now or of uh, you know you'll be coming in the offline mode as well so in delhi the capital state has got 923 girls you know who up per every 1000 boys and we are looking at the age group up to 5 years of age now goa which is you know uh, supposed to be a very very uh, literate place place where everybody wants to go it has only 838 girl children imagine 838 girl children against 1000 boys and we are only looking at age up to 5 himachal pradesh another place which is very popular for its scenic beauty 875 girls telangana 894 and let me tell you friends this data has improved a lot till you know 6 years back delhi had the child sex ratio of 868 then coming to literacy data now you all must be you know those especially those who are from economics those who are from statistics even otherwise you must you must be knowing about census of india now census data 2011 says that the literacy rate for females is 65% and for males it is 82% if you look at the information related to health you know then maternal mortality rate which means that how many women are dying because of pregnancy related causes per 1 lakh mothers it's 113 so 113 women die 
at the time of childbirth mm -hmm. during something which is related to cause related to pregnancy or any other complications related to that then last data that i want to share is that 27% of girls you know you all must be at least 17 18 so 27% of girls you know who are below 18 are married and 7% out of these are you know married before 15 so i want to ask you when i share these statistics with you what comes to your mind tell me the first thing that comes to your mind when you look at this data which is government data patriarchy female infanticide concern or yes lucky to get parents who focus on our education kushbu very right improvement trishti lipakshi mindset inequality Yes, I'm so happy that we have boys right now, you know, who are also talking. I'm so happy. And I'm sure our, you know, faculty from WDC also must be really happy and thrilled to see, you know, that when we talk about such kind of a program, we are not only looking at girls, but we are looking at, you know, everybody. And we'll just come to that as well. Yes. So, Tanmay, you are very right. Vishwarupa, absolutely, you are all very, very right. Now, uh, with this, you know, uh, data, now I, I'll be connecting all of this and uh, I will now come to, you know, a concept that we all have heard probably, you know, and that is the concept of gender. And before we talk about gender, we also need to talk about, you know, what is sex? So I want to ask you, are sex and gender, you know, in various forms, we see, you know, that what is your name, write your gender. Some forms write what is your name, what is your sex, male, female, other. So tell me, are these two terms, sex and gender, are they, are they, um, you know, interchangeably, can they be used? Do they mean the same thing? What do you think? And feel free to speak your mind, write your mind. Dr. Jain, you can do it, you can do it, you can unmute it, you can do it, you can do it. Uh, I don't think so, you know, because uh, this is the link we uh, usually get from college okay. where students, because then I think, you know, it becomes uh, unmanageable. So you I understand. Have, only no those problem. who have been made co-hosts, they can unmute and... Uh, right. You know. No problem. No problem. Yes. Sex is what we are assigned at birth. Sex is biological term. Yes. Others, inequality is still there on the basis of gender, Anjana. Yes. Others. So are they same or are they different? These two terms. Are they same? Are they different? Okay, Harshita, gender is created by society. Different, different. They are not same. Okay, Mahi. Shivansh, yes, different. So everybody is agreeing that they are different. By nature, sex is different. Yes. So when, when a child is born, we look at the genitalia of the child and we know that this is a male child or a female child, right? So if the child who is the newborn child has, you know, testicles and pennies, then we know that, yes, this is a male child. And when we see that, you know, uh, uh, the, uh, you see clitoris, you see, you know, vagina, and then you know that this is a female, this is a female child. But, you know, tell me what happens when, you know, usually, you know, Usually when a girl child is born, what is the kind of a scenario at home? When a girl child is born, kis tarah ke uh, disappointment, okay? Family is not happy. Yes, Rishti. Or usually kya hota hai? Depends on parents. Yes. Or mostly hum kya dekhte hai aspas? What do we see? 
बर्थ इज नॉट सेलिब्रेटेड ओके जॉय इज ऑल्सो देयर येस बट यूजली क्या होता है बर्डन येस गर्ल चाइल्ड इज अ बर्डन सो ह्यूज बर्डन ह्यूज डिस येस सो दिनो नाउ दैट इज वेन यू नो दी से दैट जेंडर डिस्टिंगशन बिगिन टू इमर्ज firstly you know there is a preference you know that a male child should be born and when the girl child is born mostly you know we are very lucky that we are in this kind of a forum organized by wdc where we are even thinking and talking and sharing such concerns right so when we when we see that there there is a and what if there is a boy agar beta ho to kya hota hai yes खुशी चिराग घर का दीपक यस सो वेन वेन नाउ वेन एंड वॉट आर दूर इफ यू हैव टू गो टू अ बर्थडे पार्टी ऑफ अ वन ईयर ओल्ड बॉय वॉट आर द गिफ्ट दैट यू गोइंग टू टेक टेल मी वंश को आगे बढ़ाएगा यस कार इफ यू आर गोइंग टू अ बर्थडे पार्टी ऑफ अ वन ईयर ओल्ड चाइल्ड आप क्या बर्थडे में गिफ्ट दोगे second child girl is a burden yes shagun if you are going to go for a birthday party of a one year old child what will you give chocolate new dress any color shivender toys toys like car if it's a girl child blue okay so there is yes if it's a girl child you know usually people tend to associate with softer colors like pinks you know and if it's a boy then gray blue even if you go to a shop you know and you ask for a toy shopkeeper says you know are you buying a toy for a girl child or a boy child should i give you a car aeroplane if it's a boy child and if you know if it's a girl child can i give you a barbie doll so that is the kind of you know gender in terms of socio cultural concerns that we are talking about when a child is born you know then the the uh, we look at the child but, and we say whether it's a boy or a girl which means that sex is something which is assigned you know by nature that is assigned by biology and this is something which remains constant you know whether we are whether we are in delhi or in mumbai or in andhra pradesh or in canada or in us so sex is something which is biological in nature sex is something which is natural in nature and unless one goes through some kind of a surgery you know it cannot be changed now similarly you know we say that for gender you know this is something which is not biological this is something socio cultural you know when a girl child is born whether there is going to be disappointment or there is going to be happiness or you know whether you know people are going to give toys like car to a girl or you know doll to a girl all these things are you know created by society all these things are created by people like you me our families and that is why we say it is socio cultural right so these are the things which vary from one place to another which means that when we say gender because it is created by all of us together by our society it cannot remain the same for example the rules in my house are going to differ from the rules in shibani ma'am's house shibani ma'am's house's rules are going to be different from preeti ma'am's you know house similarly you know the kind of environment that you know lipakshi has are going to be different you know from any other person therefore we say that gender is something which is very which which is going to vary from place to place so gender is something which is socio cultural which is you know uh, something which is going to vary from place to place so nature has made made us only male or female but it is society which make uh, makes us masculine or feminine and throughout our you know life different socialization agents for example family for example school for example college you know our community media around us the laws around us everything you know every institution of society 
that you know instills different kinds of rules and regulations the do's and don'ts you know for girls as well as for for the boys so now i would like to you know now uh, ask you you know uh, what are the traits you know that you connect with when you speak about girls what are the qualities are the girls you know supposed to have what are the personality traits according to you girls should have polite yes or soft manners sacrificing sensitive understanding more shifted toward education docile sensible yes nurturing you know i was in a bus you know many many years back and uh, maybe 15 years back and i was overhearing a conversation so just you know um uh 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 mere seat ke piche jo seat thi behind my seat you know there were two women elderly women who were talking so i you know happened to overhear the conversation which i still remember so you know one uh, woman was saying to the other are ab to tumhari jo hai bahu aa gayi hai to ab to tumhe bada aaram ho gaya hoga so this woman uh, says you know that yes you know ab to mujhe bada aaram ho gaya hai आज सुबह उठती है सबको चाय देती है और उसके बाद वो मेरे बेटे को भी उठाती है मुझे भी उठाती है हमें अब कुछ नहीं करना पड़ता हमें तो नाश्ता मिल जाता है और बहुत अच्छी है और खाना बनाकर उसके बाद वो स्कूल भी जाती है क्योंकि वो स्कूल में पढ़ाती है और फिर वापस आने के बाद वो फिर सबको गर्मा गर्म जो है लंच भी देती है और शाम की भी नाश्ता बनाकर फिर उसके बाद जो है वो रात को भी हमें पूछ कर सबसे खाना बनाती है और कुछ भी नहीं कहती बहस नहीं करती जो बोलते हैं मान जाती है एंड शी सेड यू नो मेरी बहू तो गाय है गाय सो व्हाट 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 डू यू घर घर संभालने वाली यस मल्टी टैलेंटेड सो व्हाट डू यू थिंक ऑफ दिस सिंप्लिसिटी एंड over the top she has to be working a girl is somebody as you all are very rightly saying i am so happy adarsh bahu kushpu you are so right supportive so a, a girl is somebody or an ideal girl or an ideal woman is somebody who has to be beautiful she has to be caring as you rightly said she has to be sacrificing she has to be you know shy you know girl children are usually told you know ke thoda uncha mat bolo or beautiful inside out and she has to be perfect lipakshi you are so right she has to be sensitive she has to be emotional and as somebody wrote she has to be docile you know we are often told you know that aap zuban mat ladao आपको गर्ल्स आर टोल्ड आप जो है बहस मत करो आपको दूसरे घर जाना है तुम्हारा गुजारा कैसे होगा तुम्हारे तुम्हें मुश्किल होगी सो दीज आर दीज आर द काइंड ऑफ दीज आर द काइंड ऑफ यू नो ट्रेट्स दैट अ गर्ल इज सपोज टू अ गर्ल इज सपोज टू हैव राइट एंड सो एनी कॉमेंट्स इफ दे आर डम दे आर परफेक्ट we are not allowed to place our point of views don't laugh loudly in public yes uncha mat bolo zor se mat sacho tumhara guzara kaise hoga behas mat karo zuban mat ladaya karo okay what about boys don't oppose yes what are the traits a boy is supposed to have bold tanmay yes i want boys also to write told to speak more yes freedom dominant yes naman yes no weeping never cry excellent powerful great so a boy is somebody you know yes sakshi who is supposed to be smart somebody who is supposed to be rational somebody who is supposed to be logical somebody who has yes decision maker somebody who has to be very assertive somebody who is supposed to be very very aggressive you know when a child 4 5 year old 3 year old male child you know if he or she 
comes home you know after a, uh, after a game and he is crying so mothers and the family members what do they say ke tu roya tu ro kyu raha hai tu mard ho ke rota hai isn't it and boy is told even through movie movies you know of amitabh bachchan mard ko dard nahi hota and they are told ladki ki tarah mat ro yes lipakshi bilkul sahi bol rahi hai aap and boys even if they enter the kitchen small boys you know they are told ye tumhari jagah nahi hai tum yahan se jao yahan ladkon ko koi zarurat nahi hai tum yahan se jao और अगर लड़ाई में अगर वो पिट के आ जाए तो उसको क्या बोला जाता है कि भाई तू क्यों पिट के आया तूने चूड़िया पहनी थी उसने तेरे को मारा तू नहीं मार सकता था यस सो अ बॉय इज समबडी हु इज यू नो ऑलवेज टफ अ बॉय इज ऑलवेज टोल्ड दैट यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू क्राई एंड दैट इज द रीजन यू नो वेन बॉयज आर सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन कयामत आ जाए यस you know they even if they want to cry they cannot cry and dear friends i have met so many you know uh, men you know you will also agree with me that you know at at the point comes in life when you know even if men want to cry are they not human beings you know they cannot cry and they say you know ki ab humse ab hamare aansu aane band ho gaye hain you know they are not able to express you know they are not able to take it out you know they can't have catharsis because they they are told they have been told for years and years that they are not supposed to cry and a time comes you know when this has become so internalized so internalized that you know even if they want to cry they cannot cry and you know ek baat batao that you know if if there is a pressure cooker and there is steam building 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 and you know city uski nahi bajegi what is going to happen after a point tell me blast yes 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 very true it is going to explode so that is why my dear friends you know male have more you know chances of heart attacks so that as compared to women men have data all over the world has said you know that men have more heart attacks as compared to women do you know this and because their mental health is affected because you know women still cry women still take it out they will talk they will blurt it out you know when 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 somebody talks it out somebody cries it you know allowed then things become normalized because andar ka sab nikal jata hai but after a point you know if if somebody you know is not able to express and bottles up inside then it ultimately affects the health of the person and therefore men have more heart attacks as compared to women so when we are talking about gender my dear my dear lovely students we are not talking about your wdc of the college is not talking about women only we are talking about both men and women and even people with alternate sexualities right so are you ready for a uh, uh, a riddle with me aap ek riddle kheloge mere sath guess karoge chalo okay everybody ready i wish i could hear you but it's okay i can read what you are saying to abhi main aapko ek riddle deti hu aur aapko wo solve karni hai will you do that ready everybody yes okay now read this and i will also speak a uh, a boy and his father they were going somewhere okay and they met with a car accident ठीक है फादर एंड सन दे वर गोइंग समवेयर इन देयर कार एंड देयर कार मेट विद एन एक्सीडेंट नाउ फादर हैड मोर इंजरीज एंड ही वाज टेकन टू अ डिफरेंट हॉस्पिटल राइट एंड दिस सन डिड नॉट हैव एनी मेजर इंजरीज एंड ओह ही वाज टेकन टू अनदर हॉस्पिटल सो सर्जन सेज आई कांट ऑपरेट ऑन दिस बॉय ही इज माय सन 
who is the surgeon okay i have many responses already excellent mother mother shivani ma'am preeti ma'am aapko kuch zyada karna nahi hai because i think uh, your your lovely students you know they are already very very you know uh, sensitized when it comes to you know gender issues and i am so happy to uh, you know read these stats okay very heartwarming so, very heartwarming yes yeah so uh, okay now uh, you are all very right so the surgeon was actually you know mother of the son who was actually you know uh, a surgeon at that particular time in that particular hospital where the son was taken now uh, we also okay now let's come to another thing now i am going to uh, read out some uh, names of professions and you have to close your eyes or imagine you know and tell me that when you think of this occupation or profession you know do you the first image that comes to your mind is that of a man or a woman okay so i am going to start i am not going to necessarily you know read out from this list okay let's say farm the first image that comes to your mind is that of a man okay man okay man okay okay yes now let me share seventh class books absolutely yes so in you know uh i also i want to show you the picture of the forgotten farmer and that is the woman that it's you are all very right through our school textbooks you know the image that we get when we think of the farmer because it has been reiterated reinforced time and time again and that is that of a man right so when you think of a farmer you automatically think of a man and when you think of you know a, a woman what kind of occupations do you think of helping hand yes kitchen yes 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 doctor if you say doctor any specialized fields within medicine any specialized field within medicine gynae nurse okay 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 if i say doctor but driver let's say a bus driver you think of a man or a woman okay man 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 now now when you think of a driving profession we always think of a man because we have always seen you know uh, uh, men driving the buses but let me tell you that we now also have women you know yes jatin you are very right now this photograph on the right hand side right now this is you know the only female driver the first and the only female driver who drives the uh delhi transport corporation dtc bus in delhi and and her photograph has come in the newspapers many many times and because she is the only dtc female driver and yes women are also driving auto rickshaws women are also driving e rickshaws women are also you know taking the uh, school children in the school vans as drivers but things are changing and i'm very glad that things are changing i'm very happy yes it is very rare women are also pilot driving helicopters and you must be knowing that even in the army now you know court is questioning you know why there are you know certain rules and restrictions related to having women in the armed forces so yes nda absolutely right okay what about astronomy when you think of astronauts you think of a man or a woman man and okay both men okay both good at least somewhere we are able to imagine kalpana chavla sunita williams yes so when we talk about you know astronauts we can because of certain changes because of certain you know women who have brought laurels to our 
you know, nation, we are able to think of, you know, women. And what about if I say, you know, a game like cricket, you think of men or you think of women also now? Okay. 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 One, one more and that is plumbing. What about plumbing work? Yes. Yes. So we do have mostly male plumbers, but now women plumbers are also coming up. Many times, you know, you must have seen that choti choti season to mothers bhi ghar mein thoda bhot kar leti hain. So it's not that, you know, only, only fathers hi thoda bhot kaam karte hain plumbing ka, thoda bhot mothers bhi kar leti hain. And uh, I can't help but also ask what about nursing? When you think of a nurse, you think of a man or a woman. You know, till, till uh, about 15, 20 years back, I had never ever seen, you know, a male nurse. And uh, 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 around 20, 21 years back, you know, I saw a male nurse for the first time in my life. And I realized that, oh, you know, male nurses bhi hote hain. So we do have dear friends, you know, male nurses. Yes, unka number bohat kam hai, bohat kam hai, but we do have, you know, male nurses in each and every hospital. That is why Shivendra, uh, hum log is tarah ke sessions mein is tarah ke baat chit kar rahe hai, because we need to have, we need to have, yes, male babysitters, Absolutely. I agree with you. That is why such a talk is being organized by the WDC of your college, because we want to talk about and bring these things, you know, in the open, because we are always, you know, mostly thinking that gender means women. But hey, gender does not mean women only because, you know, men are also victims of patriarchy. Men are told that you have to be aggressive. Men are told, you know, that you cannot cry. Men are told, you know, that tumhare ko to behno ke shadi karni hai. Men are told tumhe paisa kama ke leke aana hai. There is so much pressure even on the young boys. You know, there is so much pressure. We are always talking about girls, 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 women, women, women. But we need to talk about men and women both and even people who belong to the third gender, right? Because when women are under a lot of, you know, uh, pressure of certain kind, men are also under tremendous pressures. Yes, Prerna, we are talking about single fathers like Karan Johar, Tushar Kapoor, you are very right. And yes, but we are also saying that we need to be sensitive and we need to be aware that because of certain privileges that females do not have, females do not have access to, we see that there is a power structure. There is male domination in our society because mostly men tend to have control over certain resources, access to certain resources. But when we talk about gender, both women, yes, Yusra, both men and women are impacted. And we need to, you know, keep in mind the patriarchy that is prevalent in our society when we think of who does what. Kaun sa kaam kaun karta hai? You know, kis ke paas kaun se resources hai? Kis tarike ke needs and interests women ko kaha jata hai aapko rakhne hai? Girls are told, you have to take up social sciences. You have to take up, you know, uh, music for example. You know, boys are told you have to take up sports. You have to be an engineer. So even in career professions, you know, the kind of needs and interests, the kinds of aspirations that, you know, uh, girls and boys ought or ought not to have. You know, these boundaries, like Vipakshi is saying, you know, commerce for... Uh, now, girls are beginning to take commerce and I'm so glad. You know, your teachers will agree that our time pe to engineering, maths, these are boys ke hi subjects mane jate thi. And girls were told that you have to be a teacher. You have to be an artist. So, right? So, all these things we need to, you know, 
talk about and keep in mind. And as Shivani ma'am very rightly said at the start of the session, you know, that 50% of the population, you know, data is saying comprises of women. But men are also victims of patriarchy. And women's rights or men's rights, you know, let's not segregate, have a clear compartmentalization. We need to talk about from a human rights perspective. We need to say that whether boy or a girl, everybody has got own dignity, own worth, own talent, own potentials. And every child, every person, every human being has a right to explore one's talents, explore one's potentials to the fullest. And that is why we say that, yes, Prerna, I completely agree with you. We will talk about the media. You know, how media is also reinforcing, you know, patriarchy. So we, we have to link all this, you know, yes, I, I agree with you, uh, Prerna. We, we need to, you know, have respect for having people with diverse interests and build an inclusive environment. So when you think of the word diversity, what comes to your mind, dear friends? Yes, Yusra. When you think of diversity, what does it mean, diversity? Different people. Yes, Tanme. Differences. Very, yes. So when you talk about diversity, it means that there is a variety as you are very rightly saying, Vishika. So variety in terms of needs, variety in terms of interest, variety in terms of socioeconomic class, variety in terms of education, variety in terms of intelligence, in terms of you know exposure to stress, exposure to trauma, exposure to you know varied family uh, and uh, environment. So you tell me, how do we actually build an inclusive environment? Tell me. Where there is respect for everybody, whether a boy or a girl. How do we build that kind of an environment? Education, yes. Not stereotyping, breaking taboos. So do we just start fighting in our house? Tell me. Yes. How do we spread awareness? How do we break the prejudices? Tell me. How do we begin? Logical explanation. Changing mentality. Yes. How to change mentality? Changing in language. Excellent. Asking questions. Making them realize. Raising questions. Absolutely. You all are very, very good. So we need to, first of all, you know, that identify that everybody is unique. Everybody has got talents and potentials. So instead of saying that, you know, you are a girl, you have to, you know, become a teacher, you have to become a nurse, you have to become a receptionist, you have to be soft, you have to be nurturing, you have to be caring. We think of, you know, the potential the girl has. Similarly, instead of saying to the boy that, you know, you have to be bold, you cannot cry, you have to become an astronaut. You have to become a doctor. You know, you have to become an engineer. Let's see, maybe the boy wants to become a singer. Maybe the boy wants to become a nurse. So thinking of, you know, uh, children as human beings. Thinking of, you know, developing a non-sexist attitude, not only in the family, but also in the colleges, in the schools, and where we nurture human qualities, right? right? Rather than reinforcing or building the masculine or the feminine traits in the children. So therefore, educational institutes, you know, a child who joins the school, for example, or a you know, young adult who joins college, for example, you know, already has got the gendered, biases and stereotypes already ingrained. Certain gendered impressions are already ingrained in the person. Therefore, we need to talk about such concerns. We need to, as institutions of education, we have to take up a correctional role as progressive institutions. We have to, you know, provide forums like these 
discussions like these on you know non uh, on on developing a non sexist attitude among generations you know like yours and therefore this has to be developed you know through overt as well as covert ways we need to talk about such issues we need to bring in such discussions in the classrooms where we are able to talk we are able to think we are able to evoke interest and certain you know mindset where we start at least thinking and through you all we are able to reach the families and the larger communities and therefore you know even the way we teach even the way we talk all this has to you know all this has to bring in discussions related to gender where we talk about men women and also the third gender and i just want to you know uh share a poem and after that i'm going to pause and then we can have a discussion a small poem which is by mariam bibi uh when you talk about gender awareness you talk about absolute fairness it's all about peace and equality divine justice in reality exploring yourself and expanding your vision you listening to your consigns and making decision you learn to conquer as well as surrender to celebrate success as well as accept failure it's all about humanity living together in tranquility when no one is powerless and powerful it's land of beauties and it's beautiful so i'm going to pause here and wait for you to ask questions take your queries students please uh, type your questions observations in the chat box and uh, shidba or uh, anybody else who's helping you out if they are vishwaroop or ishika then you can help uh, you know uh, ma'am by reading out the questions from the chat box uh, my chat box is open so it's okay i was quite happy to see how interactive the students were i mean you know it was interactive because they participated so well actually you will agree ma'am that we are all you know uh, desperate you know for interactive sessions and uh, i mean can't do a monologue wish uh, they could have their cameras on and mics also you know but it's okay no problem cameras maybe they can sort of switch their videos on if they they're very reluctant to do so in class so if you can persuade them uh, um, i think they can turn their videos on uh, they cannot unmute but they can write no problem oh so it's perfect you so any questions dear friends ma'am we have our first question may i read yes, it yes from mehak right yes ma'am so mehak yeah. is asking uh, i have yeah, seen i can so i can ashita i can read yeah i can read uh, see uh, mehak uh, the reason i think uh, um, the reason uh, i i will say that we cannot suddenly after you know attending this session or you know reading about issues related to gender i will say you know we cannot suddenly you know be the torch bearers and you know start fighting in our house that will not be you know uh, the appropriate way i think what uh, i have done in the last few years in my family though i am you know as lucky as you you know that i was able to get education in you know uh, university of delhi and uh, so that way we are privileged i will say that we have to gradually negotiate you know that is what i have done in my family and that is what i will say to all boys and girls here you know that we cannot suddenly start you know fighting in our house and you know uh, uh, ask for our right 
what we need to do is gradually you know start voicing subtly gradually sharing and building that kind of faith on us you know in the family so that they are able to trust and also begin to negotiate with the family members about what you really want ladai karne se jhagda karne se kuch nikalta nahi hai ulta aur problems aa jayengi so i will say slowly dheere dheere hi kaam banega through negotiation and discussions okay uh pione ma'am is there a way to fight casual sexism because the moment you start saying anything we were just joking uh see uh i will say that a lot depends upon pione how you conduct yourself you know if you conduct yourself in a very casual manner then people are going to treat you like that only but if you are firm and you are firm with everybody uniformly then people will know you know that iske sath kis tarike se baat karni hai what is going to be you know not tolerated and what is not going to be you know uh, taken casually so a lot is going to depend upon the kind of demeanor that you project i hope i have answered your question yes libakshi you cannot compare our lives everybody's struggles are different everybody lives and challenges are very very different so there is no one magic formula you know which is going to work aur jo cheez jo hai saalon se decades se centuries se ho rahi hai yahan tak pahunchne mein bhi bahut time aaya hai bahut time laga hai ah uh, dr minu there is one interesting if if you allow me to interrupt there's one interesting question i think harshita is asking why always common man why not common women like one had given me a uh, explanation because girls are special that's why it's like men at work as if women don't do any work i'm so, so glad uh, uh, yeah ma'am i'm so glad that you know harshita has asked this question i will say you know hum aaj se shuru karte hain you know there are certain pronouns which we you know use unintentionally because we are used to such you know pronouns for example you have ma'am has also said man kind chair man dear sir when we write you know so why can't we say chair person why can't we write you know dear sir slash ma'am you know so uh, why, we always say he you know in our even textbooks he said that so why can't we write he slash she why can't we begin from there we can probably make start making small small changes and i think then you know yes you know time at least we can start हम कोशिश कर सकते हैं आई थिंक वन ऑफ आर फैकल्टी डॉक्टर प्रियंका प्रियंका कुलारी शी इज गिविन सजेशन अबाउट हैविंग अ जेंडर न्यूट्रल वो कैबलरी प्रियंका आई कंप्लीटली अग्री I yeah. completely agree. We need to have and let's start, you know, uh, analyzing the words that we are using in our day-to-day -day conversation. Let's start from there. Let's begin from us. Let's begin, you know, from in and around us, you know, within the family. Let's start from there. I think, but uh, some change is definitely happening because yes. yesterday, in fact, I was, uh, you know, my uh, son who's in class nine, he was studying social science, and he was uh, in a particular chapter about, you know, uh, the government and its functioning. The textbook, NCERT textbook itself, drew our attention to the fact that whenever we are talking about the president or the prime minister, should we assume, especially in a country like India where we have had a president, a woman president, and a prime minister, why should we? always use the pronoun he you know so the textbook itself drew the attention of the students to that fact so i thought that is a wonderful job that you know uh, ncert was doing it yes school. definitely because yeah. ncert since uh, 1988 actually they began to analyze their school curriculum and they started analyzing the books in terms of language in terms of pictures and uh, you know in terms of messages that the books were overtly or covertly giving so that kind of analysis began but i have seen that you know and social sciences uh, uh, books of ncert they are really really wonderful but somewhere i have seen you know uh, that uh, the books by other publishers you know 
uh, the private publishers still are they are you know using such you know biased uh, nuances in terms of you know language in terms of pictures so that is still there but ncert social sciences books they are awesome they are wonderful i completely agree okay uh, why majority of when think feminism is just about putting boys yeah konika of the see uh, you are very right even in your your teachers will agree you know even in you know international forums and national you know programs uh, mostly people begin to associate you know gender with women feminism with women only but now it's time you know that we create you know a platform where we say that no it's not only women who are you know the victims even men are victims and even movies now bollywood movies are also now even advertisements they are also beginning to portray you know certain newer roles for you know men for example there are ads and there are movies where you know men are uh, shown looking after the newborn baby men are you know shown changing the diapers so the changes are coming but yes i completely agree with you that yes mostly gender is supposed to be associated with women only but it's important to draw attention to the fact that men are also you know equally involved and men also need to be a part of this conversation because they are also impacted okay vishwarupa you are asking um, Uh, can somebody please handle the question? Don't you think respect is given to men, even through the privilege of their gender itself, even though if they do not emerge successfully? I completely agree. These are, you know, these are the, you know, uh, imp impacts of patriarchy only. You are absolutely right, and women have to actually do something extraordinary to draw attention. I completely agree with you. Yes, Harshita. I also feel that you know we don't want any special status. We just want to be treated as an equal human being. I completely agree with you. Pronounce like they. Yes. I think Isha also writes this, which is very true: that feminism frees all genders. When we free one gender, others are liberated too in the process. Absolutely. So absolutely, absolutely, Isha. So, any other question? Any other comments? If anybody has a comment or a question, please post. We will also be sharing a feedback link shortly. Please do fill that up. But in the meantime, please do post your uh, comments or questions if you have any. Jatin, I'm so happy to, uh, you know, see you and also, you know, see you in the sense that, you know, that you are here and you are making such an important comment. Interesting question. How does chivalry fit in a feminist world? Okay. So, uh, how, how, uh, how do you want to respond to that? What, what do others think? I think chivalry is just good manners, you know, I think it's just if you open a door for a lady, you know, I mean, you know, I think if you help somebody cross the road or help them in, you know, in, in any which way, I think it's just good manners at, at some level. And beyond that, I don't think any woman is looking for any special favors. Yes, Ranjana, you are very right. Uh, we are lucky to be a part of University of Delhi and talking about such issues. And yes, you know, uh, patriarchy is very much there across urban and, uh, you know, rural areas. And, but changes are coming, Ranjana. Uh, but yes, things are, you know, more difficult in the rural areas. But yes, changes are coming and mentality cannot be changed in one day, one month, one year. Something which has been going on for decades and decades, centuries and centuries, it is going to take time. But we start, you know, by talking about such issues, uh, bringing attention on such issues and voicing our concerns and involving people from various sexes. Yes, that is what uh, Priyansha ah. said that men, men are also victims of patriarchy. Men are also under tremendous pressure. I think uh, 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 
our colleague Priyanka wants to say something. Our colleague Priyanka Kolari, ma'am. Uh, I don't know. I am trying to unmute her, but. Ma'am, you can write. Unable to unmute her. Yeah, okay. uh, no, actually, uh, hello, Dr. Mino and uh, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Just an experience. I had a family friend and, you know, uh, who, uh, being a male, who was not working, but his wife was the one who was the bread uh, owner of the family. And he was a great person, you know, very nice, very kind and, you know, understanding kind of person. But he didn't have that respect uh, in the society. I'm not well, so I'm not able to speak properly. So uh, he never had that respect in the society. You know, everyone says, Achha, wo to kuch karte nahi hai. Ji kuch karte nahi hai. Kaise rehte hai pure din? So, you know, when I think Isha talked about that, you know, if you talk about quality and all, then I think it will free the men also, which we normally, as you said in the beginning also, we don't talk about that and that, you know, this burden, of being the bread or no okay that is always you know hovering like a sword or their heads i think because a lot of pressure so every time when i talk about gender make a uncle jaroor yaad aate hai like throughout his life he had to face that and then he was also a person that kama nahi nahi hai say whatever you want to say i'm going to live my life i'm going to take care of my kids i'm going to do everything my wife was supposed to do so you know it needs courage also so bahut courage chahiye bahut courage chahiye and i know now yeah. so many uh you know, uh, friends, uh, at least my बीस पच्चीस साल से जो कुछ और बहुत सारे केसेस देख रही हूँ वेर यू नो मेन आर चूजिंग टू लिव विद देयर यू नो वाइफ फैमिली ऑफ द मैरिज एंड के चेंजेस आर टेकिंग प्लेस एंड यस इवन आई नो फ्यू हाउस हजबेंड्स एंड दे आर रियली रियली सपोर्टिव यू नो रियली रियली हेल्पिंग you know to whatever extent is possible in terms of cooking in terms of sharing household responsibilities and uh, you know changes are rahe i think there are some observations i can't see them in the chat box if somebody with, about non binary uh, yeah what can we do about them many people are talking about yes we are very glad that you are talking about you know the third uh, gender also yes you know changes are coming and uh, in fact uh, it's now called you know aap uh, google baad mein karna aaram se dekhna lgbtq ai plus you know pehle sirf uh, 20 25 years pehle sirf bolte the lesbians and gays fir uske baad uh, bahut research hui aur bhi alternate sexualities aayi uske upar bhi research hone shuru hui to latest jargon that is used is lgbtq queer ai plus so uh, yes people are now talking about it and we are now more and more you know uh, than ever before talking about uh, uh, keeping uh, you know the conversation around gender uh, as non binary matlab sirf male or female ko hi nahi lenge but dusre sexualities ko jo log belong karte hain us tarike ki conversation ko bhi hame uh, baat cheet karni hai and we have to respect but yes there is lot of taboo there is lot of stigma but i will say again what i said you know that we have to respect people as they are we have to respect the diversity in uh, you know uh, the society and we have to respect people for the kind of life that they want to lead the kind of sexual preference that they want to have but yes uh, time bahut lagega uske liye but at least baat cheet hone shuru ho gayi hai so i think i have answered to some extent uh, with respect to those uh, comments i think from the kind of participation that we've had today from that itself it is evident that you know a lot of change is happening of course we have a long way to go and a lot of change is also i think restricted to urban areas perhaps but you know change is happening but there is this is not the time to stop it's time to sort of work even harder i think to make the you know to make those changes so uh shitba maybe we could invite uh, ma'am for the vote of thanks if there are no more questions i think ma'am for the feedback okay how you uh, yes, i think we've asked students to fill in the feedback form please do it is there in the chat box please fill in the feedback form so it helps us to you know do better feedback is always an important part of any communication process 
Yes, but alongside, I think Shib Shibba, we could sort of, you know, uh, wind up and you could invite Dr. Preeti Jain, I think. Preeti is here. Yeah. Also, I would like to invite Dr. Preeti Ma'am for wrapping up this session. And please, Ma'am, take over the virtual mic. Uh, thank you, Shibba. Uh, th uh, thank you, Dr. Meenu Anand, on behalf of Fraternity of Women Development Cell of ARSD College. I express my deep sense of gratitude to today's speaker, Dr. Meenu Anand. Dr. Meenu, you started in a very simple manner. You shared statistics with our students. You started telling them, uh, you started that gender is a construction. It is a socio-cultural category, rather biological one, and one must understand it. And you gave apt examples to explain your point that uh, the example you gave for the birthday gift, a child, a one-year child, I, boy gets or a girl gets. You make the session very lively by engaging students and emphasized on the importance of gender sensitivity, to have one's own dignity, to have right to explore one's potential to the fullest. We are happy to have you here, Dr. Meenu Anand. I once again thank you for being here. Uh, I want to thank our dynamical principal, Dr. Gyanatosh Kumar Jha, who, uh, who is always supportive. Last but not the least, I want to thank all the wonderful participants without which no event can be a grand success. So I once again, thank you everyone. Thank you everyone. <laughs>